Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator Pizza DLC. We enter day six with a level up. Oh, that's because we did not break the plates, right? So this recipe will start appearing in orders tomorrow. But anyways, I think it's a sauce. So we are exceeding four sauces now. Maybe some of them will go on the floor. I don't think so. We'll just vacate some of those spaces. Well, let's click next. And we need to unlock even more. Wow, how many do we have to unlock? Okay, let's unlock this cheese because it's been there for some time. Let's get it out of the way. Okay, I think anchovy is fine. The bell peppers. Now let's unpin this because we obviously cannot prepare it. Wait, well, what happened? Yeah, we cannot prepare those. We need to get to serving these things. 240 seconds since accepting a new order, serve pizzas two times and achieve at least two bronze stars for each. So we need to mess up two pizzas? Is that what you mean? We will re-roll this then. We're almost at the end of these quests, so that's really good. Okay, let's start with not pinning this. Yeah, we'll have to accept some orders because we are running out of money. So two orders, I think that's good enough. Okay, pin this one. Neapolitan, thank goodness. And small, uh, yikes. Fine, small one. And then marinara sauce, cut garlic 16. Garlic, garlic. 16, so 8 and 16. Basil leaf, 12. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll put one more. Let's heat up the oven first. Get this, and then quickly put this in. Meanwhile, let's also unpin and then change to the next one and pin. Large New York style marinara sauce. Of course, it's not going to be that one, right? Yeah, New York medium. Marinara sauce and mozzarella 140. Okay, that will also take a bit of time, so let's quickly get this done. We should still have the time. Why is it not working here? Okay, that pizza is almost burnt. Almost. I have a feeling it's almost burnt. Oh, okay, not yet. Good. We're just in time. Okay, take it out. Put it here. That animation though. So this one, 240, so that is about four minutes only, right? Okay, quickly, what is this? Mozzarella, 140. Mozzarella is this one, 140. Okay, basil leaf, 36. Oh, it is possible to achieve that. Okay, come on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, never mind. We'll just do that. We still have a bit of time. Let's see if it's possible. Okay. Quickly add fire. Come on. It's a large pizza, so take that out. Okay, we still have a bit of time. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be real close. It's gonna be real close. Yes, it is possible. It is possible. We accepted two new orders, and within four minutes, we got the two pizzas. We will get the two pizzas if this one works for us. Come on. 
20 seconds, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I'm counting faster, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh my god, go, 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 OMG, okay, go, go, did we get it, yes, we got it, wow, that was close, that was real close, oh, okay, awesome, that was real close, now, we have to prepare the BBQ sauce, but I will try not to, we'll take two orders, and I'll try not to prepare the BBQ sauce, and just re-roll them if they request for it, of course they would request for it, re-roll it, and then now pick this one up. It's not BBQ, so we'll pin this one instead. Okay. This is the New York medium. Finally. Finally. Alfredo sauce. Right. And then mozzarella cut. Cotto. Cotto. And then button mushroom, 50 grams. 10. Young artichoke, yes, I'm glad I have it here. 100, so 4. And then black olive is on the floor. We can remove the young artichoke just because we no longer need it. Obviously, since we just used it, right? Uncut black olives. 6 of this. And then we'll need to use that. Oh my goodness. Come on, close these things. Good. Now, put this in for baking. And the heat is not high enough, so we can wait a little bit and start preparing something else. Unpin. And take this one, pin. Medium. Neapolitan. And then marinara sauce, and we'll go check on the pizza. Marinara sauce. Yeah, this is much easier to see. At least you can see the sauce that you're preparing. Level up again. Parsley, sure. Yellow bell pepper, of course. The cheese, they're very expensive though. Should I really? Fontina and Pecorino Romano. Yeah, sure. Uh, we roll a quest. I don't need the machine to work fast. Sure, we roll the quest. Awesome. And we have a new certificate. That's awesome. Let's take a look at it first. It's over here. What is it? Timer. Oh, the timing one. Maybe because we completed all the quests. Yeah. Ooh, it's all done already and we need to... Oh, okay, it's only level 3 then. I don't even know what was that quest. <laughs> I would have seen it on the screen, I guess. Oh, never mind. Oh, well. I mean, these quests, they're random, so you can re-roll them. So obviously, it's random and it's fine. Hey, oh, wait, hang on. This is a problem now. This is a problem? It is a problem. Take it out before it completely burns. Then it would be too bad. So far, it's okay. Medium, right? Yeah, it's it's a little bit burnt, but it's okay. Okay, we'll have to serve this. It's fine. Otherwise, we're running out of money anyway. So let's just serve it. We have burnt ones. Burnt ones. Yep, unfortunately, that's what happens. Because they interrupted us with the cert and also the level up, like it was that bad. <laughs> no, I shouldn't blame anyone for it, I should blame myself for it. And you see that? Okay, that one is bad. Mozzarella. Button mushrooms. And then we need... Koto. Black olive cut ones. 
Thank goodness. Wait, hang on. 64. So, two times. Oh, three times. And you see that glitch? <laughs> well, what do we do about that? We can't do much. Can we? Get some heat into the oven. Get some fuel into the oven. Okay, fine. That's not that bad. Oh, no. Hang on. This one. Pin this. Medium... Oh. Reroll that. Small Neapolitan... No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This one first. Okay, good. Large spelt flour... Oh, that's not good. We can't reroll anymore. Medium Neapolitan... Okay. I had to reroll the orders several times and it caused some confusion and eventually messed up the orders. So instead of the original commentary, I'm adding this post commentary. Let's take a look at how it happened. Let's start by calling the order that's at the top of the order list and already in the oven, Alpha. The second order is Beta and the third is Charlie. First, I clicked on Beta in the order list, which I was supposed to serve and pinned this order. Now, this is important. Anyway, I couldn't prepare it because this order uses the spelt flour dough. So, I rewrote this order. And it rejoins the order list at the bottom. Now, let's call this new beta. I clicked on the second order in the order list again, now Charlie, and realized that it also required the spelt flour dough. So, I rerolled it again, and Charlie rejoins order list as new Charlie. However, this time round, instead of clicking the second order again, and that is new beta, I clicked on alpha, and alpha is already in the oven. Then, I forgot to pin the recipe, so when I put down the smartphone, the order showing on the smartphone was the non-existent recipe beta that I had pinned. Eventually, I realized the error and corrected it by pinning alpha. Thankfully, by this time, Alpha is already done baking in the oven. When I served Alpha, the pinned recipe disappears from the smartphone. Even then, I still hadn't realized what had gone on, but it did help avert a potentially worse outcome because I can begin preparing the correct pizza, and that is New Beta. Another certificate? Because we served even more. Oh, that one, right? This one. Now we're all at level 3. At least Gold Star in the time category in 3 subsequent orders. Time category. We should be fine on that. Well, of course... Oh my goodness. No, not here. This one, please. Pin this one. Wait, why, why am I preparing that? Medium New York style and then small Neapolitan... Oh, wait, what? No, excuse me, I want to exit out of this context. It's really confusing there. Small Neapolitan style marinara sauce. Okay, and then garlic cut here. Basil leaf. Thank you for making it simpler for me now. Time, right? For three subsequent ones. Okay. I'm pin this and then quickly pin this one. We might need to work on those new sauces soon. New York style and pesto and medium also. That's not New York style. Okay, good. We got to check on this. Almost done. By the time we add the sauce, it'll be too much. Let's 
small plate we can't accept any more orders so we'll have to work on the sources first because we cannot re-roll so if we want the timer to be okay we'll have to work on the sources first pesto 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 right mozzarella grated 96 one two three and then bacon cut 64 so that's eight and then black olive cut 64 oh okay that's just one two oh my goodness always like that basil leaf 24 so that's again eight okay good close this one I would have chosen not to prepare sauces and dough during the serving phase, but we ran out of money. There was nothing I could do about it. Maybe next time round, I've learned that I should prepare those important ingredients first. Yeah, like the sauces and whatnot, so I don't have to prepare them during the daytime. Yeah. Let's get this done. Wait, this is the medium one, right? Is it the medium? Yeah, it is the medium. Let's get the plate first. Get that out. We have money. Thankfully, they pay us as we serve them. Right, there it is. Now we have to waste a lot of time just preparing those ingredients. Right, we start with the BBQ sauce here. We already have a lot of things in there. So you know what, I'm gonna prepare this without introducing the sauce first. And I'm also going to prepare the dough without introducing them. During the prep phase, I'll introduce these new recipes and their ingredients. Okay, I have the BBQ sauce, although I sort of messed up and you can see that the cayenne peppers 50 grams instead of 5 grams we'll see what happens we have some spelt flour dough here I prepared them uh, they're fine so let's take three orders before the time's up starting with this one now we can work on all of them medium Neapolitan okay this one good Alfredo sauce good let's go yeah for the medium one we can see the Alfredo sauce thankfully Next, we need mozzarella cut. Bacon, 64. 8. And then basil. 8 also. That's it. Next, we need to work on the second one. Large New York style dough. Okay, that is this one. And then Alfredo sauce. Okay, we will put this in to start baking first. Because time is important, so let's quickly start this. Yep, we need that quest. Alfredo sauce for the large pizza, it's quite hard to see. And then mozzarella 140, and we'll have to go and check on the pizza. We'll give them a little bit more. Okay, almost done. That's a medium one, right? Good. And then medium plate. And we'll also prepare a large plate for the next pizza. Excuse me? Wow, okay. My fault though. That was so close to the plate, but it wasn't on the plate and I clicked. 
Serve this one first, get the quest completed first. There it goes. Yes. Another sauce. Wow, that's a lot of sauces. Fried egg? What do we need to do with this then? Are they already prepared though? And there's a lot more meat. Okay, I want to find out what it is. The spinach, zucchini, they have been waiting. Cherry tomato, sure, it's been waiting for some time. Next will be the capers. These will wait. Okay, what's next? Go star for the cheese category in three subsequent orders. That should be fine. Two pizzas within 60 seconds after pulling the first one out from the oven. Yeah, that's not a big problem. Get a big plate. And we need to prepare another one for the this one. This is a medium plate. Okay, good. Let's prepare another plate here. And then let's take this out of the way. So we need to prepare two, and we will be able to get that done. Koto... Oh wait, it's pinned, so it's fine. Twelve. Button mushroom. Right? Yeah, fourteen. Young artichoke and black olive. Yeah, sure, sure. They are both needed. Ten, and then the artichoke. Unfortunately, they're interchangeable. So I think it seems like artichoke always goes with the olive. Okay, we need to prepare the next one so that we can complete both together. Medium Neapolitan. Medium Neapolitan. And then marinara sauce and mozzarella 100. Button mushroom. 10. Photo 120. And black olive cut. Scatter this one too. Oh my goodness. It's always the black olives that fall outside. Well, anyway, it's done. So we are going to have to take this one. As soon as we pull one out, we need to serve the next one, right? So we have to be fast. Put that one in. Take it out here and take this one also. Can we accept more orders though? I think we can. Okay, let's pick up two more orders at least. Or maybe three. Yeah. Three. I think it's better that way. And we'll just uh, put put this in. Because it's almost going to run out. 60 seconds. Serve 2, right? Okay, take. And then we'll just drop this on the floor for now. Because we need to take the other one. Take it out. This is the second one. Don't serve this one. Don't serve this one. Don't serve this one. Must remember not to serve this. Must remember not to serve this. We are serving this first. Where is the pizza? Where where is the pizza? Excuse me? Where's the pizza? What what? Wait, what? Excuse me? Hey, that is a very, very major bug right there. And why is this chair even you know what, can I toss it away? I cannot. What on earth? I cannot even toss it away. I don't need this chair. Where is my pizza? What? Are you serious? Hey, that's ridiculous though. Seriously, that's ridiculous. What do you mean it disappears? Just because I place it on the floor, it disappears? Okay, I do not accept something like this. This is too nonsensical. Okay, that's the second one. We'll need to redo that one. And we still have three orders pending. Really? Don't tell me about achievements. I'm so mad right now. I am so mad right now.
Okay. Are they the same? This one has no mushroom, so this is the first one. Temperature almost gone. Start the temperature first. Okay, now take this one. Don't tell me it's gone again. I'll be so mad. I'll be furious. For goodness sake, how can that happen? We'll have to watch for it drop, at least, right? We'll have to monitor when it drops on the floor, whether it just glitches away or whatever. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need another large plate. Now, take this back and then get ready. Hang on, not yet. We can still achieve that. We can still get the quest done. Take it out, drop it on the floor, do not disappear. It should be done though, I'm pretty sure it is. Drop that on the floor too. Serve this onto the plate. We have 60 seconds from the time we took that one out, right? Okay, that one disappeared again. You saw that? You saw that? It just disappeared again. As soon as you move away from it, it disappeared again. That's wonderful, isn't it? That's totally wonderful. Perfect. Yeah, uh, what else? Not enough saws. Failed to complete within the order time. Bugs. Bugs. Just lots of bugs. I'm gonna cut this part away because we'll not try to get that achievement. Not now. I'm too angry for that. See you at the prep phase. I got a level up. That's the last one. We need to unlock even more ingredients. I don't even know how we're gonna go about doing those. Capers. Boiled potatoes, sure. Pensetta. Don't I already have pensetta? I'm not gonna get more cheese. Pepperoncino, sure. This is just one of the garnishes, sure. And now we need to unlock five, not four. Pensada, sure. Time, the rest are fine. This one. So even though the BBQ sauce was messed up, it's still okay. Yeah. So we don't have to worry. Also, this one. Gold star in base? Sure. That's good too. We need a Gorgonzola, but we cannot get that one. Well, anyways, that's it for the serving phase. I'm so upset right now. I don't even know what to say. The pizza just going through. Also, this one. You can't throw it away. If you happen to see... Oh, okay. The temperature's wrong. You can't throw it away. Look. No. Can't interact with it. You can throw it on the floor, thankfully. Otherwise, you'll be stuck until the fire goes down. Well, I guess I'm just going to put it inside. Wait, it doesn't even work now? So what do you expect me to do? Does this... Can I return it? No. Can I throw it away? No. Can I put it in here? No. No. Just absolutely no. How about I take one more and then put it inside? No. Not interactable anymore. Glitched. So that's one problem. Secondly... Okay, 500 grams. If I were to take it out like that... Two... Three hundred. And then I click on here. It goes in there. There was a point in time when that one went into. Look. Oh. Okay, you see that? You see that? It goes together. So if you were to click on this. Wait, it doesn't go in? Okay, maybe because these things prevented it from entering. This is an add-on recording because at the point of recording, I just couldn't get this bug to show. So let's see. 700 grams here. Take out maybe one or two, just put it there, put it there, put it around here for example, maybe here. Now that's 400 grams inside, take it, you can see that it's following, alright, it's still following. 
There should be 300 inside. Or rather 400 because of this, maybe? I think so. Yeah. Well, regardless, you have seen it on screen. So let's put it in here. Does that go into? Yeah, it does. So, yeah. In the basket, it shows whatever. Oh, wow. Okay, look at that. See? Okay. So there's one there. Stuck to the basket. Now, the basket is supposedly empty. Click. Does it go in? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Oh! And then that one disappears. Where is it? No? Nothing? Where is it? It's inside! Yay, it went inside. Yep, that's a bug. Let's show the bug again. Alright, I have another 700 now. Or maybe, you know what, let's not always have 700. How about 600 then? There's already 400 inside. Here, 600. So, I'm just going to take out maybe... I don't know. 3? So, make it half. Okay, let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem to affect anything right now. How about here? No. Okay, maybe that is close enough. See, it now shows 500. Obviously, there's like only three inside there. Take it up. There's some already together with the basket. Let's click it inside here. It's 400. Let's see how many goes in. Haha. <laughs> 900 and only one remains. So yeah, there's some issues with the basket. Shall we just put this in for the sake of completion? Anyways, I am preparing the new sauce and that's the BBQ sauce. We need tomato ketchup 500. That's gone already. I don't even know if I have the money to buy all of these. 1,700 is not a lot. So we just have to pour everything, don't we? Yeah. Okay, brown sugar in here. I haven't arranged all of these though. So it's okay to exceed. They don't seem to complain, thankfully. So we'll arrange them by alphabetical order again. Molasses, this one. Oh, oh look, 50. And we need to buy one more. Which means the liquid smoke as well. Okay, sure. We'll just pour a hundred of these in here as well. Okay, and we'll keep the rest for this one together with this. Wait, hang on. Why is it different? Oh, because we only need a little of this. Okay, fine. We need 20 ml of this. 21 is okay. We have found out that it doesn't really affect anything. Red wine vinegar. 500 ml, which is the entire bottle. Then we need paprika. Here. 10 grams. Salt. 10 grams Onion powder 5 grams Garlic powder 5 grams We need cayenne pepper 5 grams Black pepper Also 5 grams Chili powder 5 grams Ground mustard 5 grams Ground cinnamon 6 is fine 5 grams Okay Just because it doesn't really penalize us on that So we're okay with it Now 
this is another BBQ sauce container. So we will have spare sauce containers just because we will run out of those during the serving phase. But we might be safer as we go along because there's more sauces to choose from. But it'd be good if we can serve more also, which means that it's also very likely to still run out. That's the Alfredo sauce that we're putting in there. Anyway, that's it for the BBQ sauce. I'm gonna prepare the ingredients before I introduce the dough. No, not this one. The dough. Dough. Yes, dough. Spelt flour dough. Spelt flour. 3.5 kilos. Put that in. We should be able to get all 3.5 slightly below. It's not going to be anything bad. Next, we need water. This is exactly 2.3. Anything more, we'll need to go for another round of water. But 2.3 for 2.4, that's okay. So we still can work with that. Salt 50. Thankfully, we have the 10 grams one. Yeast, 20 grams. It's dirty to put it on the floor because no container, so I put it in here. Olive oil, 80 ml. 85, it's okay. Sugar, 100. Yep. Thankfully, they are not so stringent on the requirements, so we can still make a little bit of mistakes and it's still okay. And here, the good thing is that they show us the pictures of what we need, so we don't really have to sort them out because we can easily find these ingredients, like when preparing, we can look at the next one or we can roughly tell what's the next one. So it's not so bad. Anyway, we should start this one. So let's put that down and... This. It has happened that I accidentally click on this twice, I think. The red button, yeah. Twice. Anyway, that's the spelt flour dough. It's ready, and here they are. Now, let's prepare the hummus sauce. These are the ingredients. We need chickpeas, one kilogram. So. It's 400 grams each, therefore we need to get another 200 from one more can. Tahini, 250 ml. Lemon juice, here. We need only 150 ml. Garlic, we need 30 grams, so we can just use this. And <laughs> it says the salt is inside. Anyway, salt 10 grams. Water, 150 ml, so I'm not gonna use a jug. We use this bottle. Ground cumin, 10 grams. Olive oil. 40 ml also parsley we can just take from here this one right we start with the chickpeas one kilo so we can pour everything in here just hold on to the button and pour everything oh wait we can change it to 250 grams so yeah, just pour everything that should be what oh hang on one more <laughs> yeah good enough that's all there is to this. So change it to 250 grams and pour the rest in here. Another 250. That's 800. Now we need to be careful with this one then. This one, it has to be only 25, 25, 25, 25. And that's 900, so another one more time. There it is. The remaining 1 kilo, we can put them into the container. Tahini 250. Oh, that's gonna be quite slow. Okay, almost there. Reduce the speed. Okay, there. 251, that's okay. Put the remaining in there. Now we know that every bit of money is money. We run out of money. <laughs> and that's really bad. 150. Don't waste food. We ran out of money. Garlic, 30 grams. Oh my goodness. Never mind. All of these can go in. 
be that over here. Oh my goodness. You see that? You see the collision? Yeah. It's that bad. Wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. That was scary. I thought it flew out the window or something. Anyway, salt is here. It went down on the floor because of the basket. 10 grams. Good enough. Water. 150 ml. Okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. Ground cumin. 10 grams. Olive oil. 40 ml. Imagine accidentally clicking on the red button right now. Parsley, 30 grams. So let's get one container for it. And that's a hummus. There it is. We need to vacate some of those cheese and whatnot. Now, we have one more sauce. Let me get the ingredients. Now it's the time for garlic ranch sauce. Okay, it's pinned. <laughs> right, we need 50 grams of garlic. So we can use this and click one time, then exit the menu to add one more. Yeah, that's how it works. Unfortunately, that's how it works. We can keep this in here. No, it's forget it. Okay, I'll keep it elsewhere. For now, we'll just leave it here. Main is 700 ml. So one bottle is not enough. I need to get more. We'll have to buy more. Anyways, another 200. Okay, almost there. Okay, good. Next, we need sour cream. I didn't buy enough. Be right back. Now we've got enough sour cream. 200 each. So you have to pour two cans of it in there without worrying. But it's slow, so it's a waiting game. Another one more. Then we need to put 50 ml of the remaining one here. This one will have to be a little bit more careful since we'll have to stop at 50. 50 one's fine. Milk. Okay, 650. Slow down. Slow down even more. Oh wait, 50. <laughs> sure. There, 650. Dill weed, not rosemary. Just leave it here first. Parsley also. Dill weed. Black pepper, 30 grams. Salt, 30 grams. Onion powder, 15 grams. So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 10 grams. And that's it. We can check and go. Here it is. Garlic ranch sauce, put it here. No space here for now. Right, that's all for the garlic ranch sauce. That's all we've unlocked. I'm gonna continue preparing the other ingredients and top up everything. I made a quick save so that I could stop recording and resume it. It's still the prep phase, but look at what happened when I reloaded. This happened. Yeah, this happened. Look at all of these things scattered all over the floor. Let me guess, are these things all out too? No, thankfully. Okay, seems like it's fine here, but these are not. I'm pretty sure this wasn't open. This one maybe, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't. Anyway, see you at the end of the day. This has been a really bad day. Wanna take a look at more bugs and ridiculousness? Look, we cannot really put these in. 
picking doesn't help. We have to manually put them in. And then, when you take this out, they drop. They drop. So, one more thing that happens quite often until I start recording. Ah, yeah, there it is. So, what you have is two cans of sour cream that you've taken time to place in the basket manually fall through the basket while something that's not in the basket get brought along by the basket. Yeah, things like that. Not that I'm complaining or whining, but seriously, why is this happening? Finally, all done. So these are the spelt flour, and these are the New York ones. I don't have a lot of money, so I'm not preparing too much. The Neapolitan ones should be able to last for quite a bit of time, if we hadn't been resetting those. Okay, I had to click a few times just to close this one. Now we have these, and you see some highlights. Oh, another bug. Anyways. All the grated cheese are here. I'll show the tray now. So, these are the sauces. We now have six different sauces over here. The cheeses are here, only the cut ones are here. We have eight slots for them. Eight slots for the meat. Anything else, go below the counter. Vegetables, only cut ones are here. And some of them still have to go below. We know that these two are interchangeably used, so I'm leaving it here, maybe even swapping this out for the black olive. Anyways, these vegetables are here, and fruits, they're all here. Anything that's opened directly will be placed here, only the cut ones are above. Tuna, it's here too, any meats will be here as well. Uh, wait, hang on. Yep, these are still here. I reloaded the game, it doesn't seem to fix it, maybe a new day will. Okay, now, the sauces are here, spare sauces, because we do not have the time to make these during the serving hours. Extra meat here, so I should be able to top up the koto, so let me do so while I show the rest of the updates. Koto goes in here, and uh, 600 grams, that'll be enough, yes. Right, so the meats are here, the sauces are here. There's so many new ingredients, I have no place to put them. So I'm gonna leave them here like that, and also we have some spare containers, but look, I'm only left with 260 cookbooks. So I'm really worried that something is gonna be required and I have no containers for it. I'm going to make sure that I don't use those four containers until necessary. So these ingredients stay here unless they're required. Then. I'll probably go to the pantry to get them because it's too hard to find them unless I can easily access them. Here we have some cheese and here we have this one, lettuce. So eventually cheese will go here too. All those cut and grated cheese, extra ones, spare ones, ready to refill, they're all here. This one, oh the chickpeas. Mm. I'll bring them over, it's fine. I'll not even sort them now, because I don't think it will be used that frequently. Anyway, we have some surplus oils and whatnot. Ingredients are all there. This one, it's here. I've sorted them in alphabetical order just because it's easier to use them, but then again, when you reload the game and pull it out, everything topples, so... I don't think there's a point in sorting it. I'll sort this once and if it happens, and I'll forget about it. Salt and black pepper are here. Because they are frequently used, I would be better off separating them like that. Also, I remember keeping one of these in here, but it disappeared. Okay, now let's remember a 275 in here, alright? I don't know, maybe I did not. That one I'm not too sure. Did I keep it here? Okay, maybe, maybe I used it up. Right, I'm gonna keep the surplus here. And let's end the day. Finally. Let me start by saying this in-game day was absolutely terrible. We had pizzas disappearing after taking them out just because you're being hurried by the quest to serve the two pizzas. Obviously, you've got to put them on the ground. 
right? But no, they disappear. What? Did they glitch into the floor? Then there were all these other bugs, including the one that was still highlighting the food even as we ended the day. Those pizzas, the ingredients, they look so realistic. It's so beautiful. The ambience is nice. But why so many bugs? I hope these bugs get patched. Now, the version is 4.0.38 on the PC Steam version. Let's hope that the bugs are fixed because it is a really nice game. Well, anyway, we're moving on to day 7. Will this day finally be less stressful? We'll find out. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day. And these are the pizzas we served today, especially the last few, not in the recording.